Spanish. <laughs> We're in Yangcheng right now. Orange colors down the sides of the mountain. For a while now we've been wanting to have a little girls trip. We've been planning it for a couple of weeks but keep pushing it somehow but now the plans have left the group chat officially. We're in Yangpyeong right now. Stephanie and Robin and I drove together and then the rest of the girls rode together in their car. I found this cafe online that we want to have some breakfast in and then Mart and Airbnb. It's a Hanuk. I can't wait to see how it looks in real life. I've gotten myself a tea. Wait, tea. Like no, yeah. Yeah. It looks like um, it looks like a soup. Sometimes they have it thin. Sometimes it's like thick, like this. I mean, it just tastes like hanyak. Mm. I booked the Airbnb for us and I just texted the the like owner of the Airbnb is like hey like how do we check in and she's like I let all the doors open this is welcome to the Korean shigwar the Korea is so low crime and especially in the countryside nothing you just let the door open you can walk in whenever you want to Mart, we need to buy. I think we're grilling tonight. We're grilling some chicken and some other meats, and yeah, then we need something to drink. They're not good. Sour. I like them sour. It's time for Cecil to practice her driving skills. Yeah. Because <laughs> I need to take my driver's license in Korea, and I'm really scared. And Stephanie's really good at driving a big car. She always asks me if I'm learning something from watching her drive, but I have to just say, no, I'm not. It makes me more scared. Let's, let's focus. get it. Focus, ladies. Focus. Mm -hmm. There's pizza, ice cream, mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Who, who eats pa'aji? Yeah, I'm going to have That's the best one! That's the boring one. <laughs> it's the delicious one. Wait, you get, what's that? Marshmallows. <gasps> Marshmallows for the, for the campfire. Chicken. And I just saw the wine. Oh, you guys, you're good at the meat. I would like the apple. Okay, uh, Molly, you said white, right? Yeah, I just, I'm not really for that thing. Seasonal expensive taste, shopping. The shikoma. The 9,000? No. Yeah. I think this is actually a bit different. But we have also got soju. Yeah, but we don't enjoy that. That's more that's like a so fun. Did, okay. Uh, did we get water bottles? Oh, that's no, we need to get over here. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. We've 
arrived at the Airbnb, we were driving up the mountain for like 10 minutes. We have the most insane view of the like orange colors down the sides of the mountain and right now i think we're in like the area of an actual hanuk village and you can just feel that this is not like modern built this is actual hanuk house that we're in which is insane let me show you I'm in an actual movie right now, like a K-drama or something. <laughs> so beautiful. Look at this hallway behind me. Like, so maybe. Yummy, yummy. Robin is on grill team. Like purely objectively speaking, it's very dirty here. <laughs> it's very sticky. Very <laughs> sticky. I've been here for like an hour and a half and my socks are a little bit like You know that I should have listened to the reviews There was a couple of reviews that said like oh this place like it's really lovely and such But it's quite dirty and I was like, okay some saying that some aren't so I thought maybe if we would be lucky but it's clear that they've tried to um, clean but they've just been not very good at it. We've decided to not look at the details here and just focus on the bigger picture, which is that we're in a beautiful Hanuk and we're gonna grill together and we're gonna play games and we're gonna have a fun chill time. So it's gonna be great. Oh. Wow, what are you I'm doing? Christmas theme. She's, ultra, <laughs> she's ultra sexy. And this top that you're saying. It's like, I look like a this crazy bee. Most random <laughs> outfit. Here's to our girls, first time out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, y
the day before yesterday, oh, the evening before yesterday, I and I just no, winged it. I've never bread, like baked bread before. <laughs> I will get some after you. Thank you, Tony. I'm actually proud of myself with this. This cheese. Hmm. Well, we're talking about with the guys being here. I mean, us girls, we've got homemade bread, we've got pancakes early in the morning. I mean, fruit. Yeah, even That's after so drinking, drinking last night, we're yeah. like, some fruit, yeah. <laughs> would you like some? I mean, it would be nice if the men were here, but like, you know, we need the girl time. The girl time. The, the girl, girl time, time is just oh, different vibes. Right? It is. I would probably mix. No, <laughs> we did. We did boop. Face mask. What is that? The boob sheet yeah. mask? <laughs> For Aya brought some. Me. I got gifted them. <laughs> we were just laying on the floor <laughs> heating yesterday like at, at 11 p.m. Midnight maybe? Mm -hmm. And just... Doing boob mask. How are your boobs feeling everybody? Feels very moisturized. Oh. <laughs> Molly's going to cup a feel. Oh, feels okay. No, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Smooth. <laughs> Stay. Goodbye, Hanuk. Goodbye, Hanuk. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Sounds good. You know, I used to bleach my hair to That's my true. back part. Yeah. That's true. You, you were blonde at some point. I was blonde for three years. Three years? Yeah. Damn. Well, let's do it then. This doesn't really look much different than my current hair right now. It's like my life has been so peaceful and nice for the past couple of months that it's almost like I just want to mess it up. Which is most likely going to happen. Why is it in Japanese? Oh! Oh, here's the Korean one. <gasps> Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Okay. <gasps> There's no more neck now, guys. <laughs> mm. Yeah, you did a great job. You think so? Yeah. Okay. I think, I think I've done what I could. I really hope that everything is covered well. What do you think, guys? I really like it. It said it would turn out like grayish toned, but it's definitely warm toned. I think because like my hair is warm toned, so I guess that in I don't know, did something. But I like how it turned out. I just like that now it's all like back to dark and I feel ready for fall. And this weather is so cold. But two days ago I was wearing shorts. Okay, I'm still wearing a skirt though, but you know, I'm wearing tights at least. <laughs> Anyways, we're around Gyeongbokgung area. We're in Samcheongdong right now, and I want to go and have some tea and some snacks in a Hanuk. Let's catch up there. to be in good time especially because I start to book work from January already so I usually for the past like four years I've used this calendar everyone always asks where it's from it's from Indigo I think it's a Korean brand and I looked up like if they had any new styles and this is a completely different design and anything so I'm excited to see how it looks let's unbox it 
Compared to my old diary, this one also has a yearly plan. I suppose you could use this for like checking off days that you meditated or days that you worked out, I guess, to like keep track of your goals. Then there's a quarterly plan, which I really love. I've never seen that in a diary before. And of course we have the monthly plan and then lastly the weekly plan, which is what I tend to use the most. I love that this one has like a to-do list on the, li on the right side. I used to write my own in my calendar, so this is just perfect. It's actually kind of impressive how excited I am to just fill this out. I love physical calendars. these that pushes them into like the form of Gyeongbukgung. This is so cool. This is the Nutella one. Mm, that's so good. Traditionally, Bungabang is like shaped in those fishes. I don't know if you've ever seen the photos, but it's usually fish with red bean paste in it. No way. Oh, this looks <laughs> so good. You can actually see the path in it. Usually it's just like a mush. Last week I talked a little bit about that idea that I wanted to do for the channel, where I would follow, you know, someone new every month and see their life in Seoul. Or their life in Korea. It doesn't have to be Seoul. Mm -hmm. And after ideating more, I've come to the conclusion I need a videographer. I need someone to help me with that series. Um, because I, I can't take up all the roles when it's something like that and when I want to give my, you know, attention to the person who's actually with me in the video and when I have to film at the same time, there's no way I can do that. So, I would love to get the help of maybe one of you. If you're in Seoul and you're on a visa that allows you to work like this, a residence visa, a working visa, an E6, anything that allows you to do something creative, you don't need to have a ton of experience in videography videographing and filming um, you just have to be easy to teach and you have to have a creative eye and you have to be independent and proactive if all of these things apply to you well okay let's see if you do have experience in filming that would be freaking extra plus okay extra extra plus so if you're interested in helping me this would be on a monthly basis once or twice a month for a couple of days and I would love to hear from you my email is here please email me and wow me with your skills. <laughs> this is a job application, guys. So, do what you do in a job application, please. <laughs> message from my new therapist <sighs> those are words I thought I would never say um, I think I have this like probably a little bit damaging uh, conception that oh I don't need therapy I can deal with things myself in that sense which I know by now that you know there's never someone who's gone into therapy and said I wish I didn't do that I mean and everyone I know is telling me that even like they go into therapy and they didn't explicitly think that there was something to work on like that. They've had so much help with it and so much like transformation with it. Yeah, I'm really curious to see how that goes. I've really had to admit over the past little while that I think I need help with my work. Like I need help with the responsibility of my job. Yeah, I, I, it's not easy mentally. Yeah. 
so I'm really excited. I also want to talk a little bit about like work optimization and these kind of things. Some of the things I want to talk about, I'm curious to see what a therapy perspective on this would be because I do like engage in coaching a lot, which is extremely action focused and forward based and, you know, um, designed to really get you physically somewhere. But I'm also scared, but nonetheless, I'm excited. <laughs> so. I'm going to figure that out and then I'm going to continue on the last book of the Akatar series. I can't believe I've been reading this whole series almost in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm on A Court of Silver Flames, the one where it's Cassian and Nesta and I'm freaking excited. <laughs> I never thought this would be me but I'm chronically on book talk right now, like with one eye open all the time because I'm scared of spoilers of all of these new books that I have on my um, TBR list that I just, I can't wait to get started on. I want to start on 150 different books at once. Yeah, but now I'm going to focus on finishing this one first. So thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you next week again. I love you. Bye.